a traditional term for developing concentration is Vihara Dhamma, means a home for the mind, or your dwelling place. The Buddha had his dwelling place. He went off into the woods one time and spent a couple months alone. And when he came back out, people asked him what his dwelling was, and he said, I stayed with the breath. Other times he talks about his dwelling being in emptiness. But it's basically it's the attitude, the object of the mind, the place where you go for security, where you go for protection. It's just like a house has a roof that protects you from the rain. The concentration protects you from a lot of the impact from the world outside, because you're not sticking your head out and receiving things. And so you want to make sure that your roof is watertight. There's an image in the canon of a monk living alone in his hut, and a big rainstorm is coming. And he says, I know my hut is watertight, so you can go ahead and rain as much as you want. That's the attitude of someone whose mind is totally free. They're no longer caught up in the affairs of the world. Gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. And so the good and the bad can come as much as they want because he's not out there in the, out there in the rain. So you want to develop this quality of mind where you're well protected. You look after your house, you look after the body, use the breath to take care of the body. That keeps keeps it comfortable in here. And then you use the body to look after the mind, give it a good place to stay. So it's not always out there looking for scraps from other people, not always exposed to the sun and the rain. And when your roof is watertight, then you can take the rain off the roof and you can put it in big jars. In other words, when gain comes, you know how to use it. You don't have to get wet, but you know how to use it. When loss comes, you know how to use it. There's, there are good things in loss of wealth, loss of status. We don't like them, but there are good lessons to learn. There's good lessons to learn in criticism. So make sure your roof is watertight, and then you can actually use the water. It doesn't seep in and cause a lot of rot and mold in your mind. This way the mind helps look after the body, and the body looks after the mind. You're living in your house, you're caring for the house, and the house is giving you shelter. So do your best to keep your house in good repair. <laughs>